If you have been around the channel during the 2017-2019 era, you might have seen my posts and videos on an Amber Pilot Custom 823. It was a grail pen in a literal sense, as back then international purchases was difficult and I didn't know any better as a fountain pen new, so to say. I let it go in 2019 to a good home and I do miss this from time to time. So I do what all fountain pen people do if possible, ask around and borrow one so that I don't spend my money recklessly to buy another one. So in this review, we're going to be taking a look at a clear demonstrator A23 and see if it still holds up as a writer's pen in 2023. Now, if you would like to support the channel, please click the like button and subscribe. And if you're looking to buy your next fountain pen, notebooks, or inks, please check out a writing guy shop on Instagram or send me an email. I do worldwide shipping and 24 seven support. The A23 belongs in the custom series, Pilot's flagship line of pens. The word custom, as they mentioned in their marketing material, derives from the idea of these pens being made to order, creating this sense of them being made to the needs of the user. We cannot judge how accurate the statement is, but the fact remains that these pilot's pens have made a name for themselves in being people's top choices for their first gold nib fountain pen. The A23 in particular is among the three digit line, aka having a retail MSRP of 30,000 Japanese yen and first release in pilot's 82nd year in the 2000s. The pen features a size 15 14 karat gold nib, one of the bigger nibs in their lineup, a large ink capacity, and it also is Pilot's only vacuum filler. And during its ongoing 23 years lifetime, the A23 has created a cult following of one pen collectors, and even more so when people started spotting famous authors rocking these A23s, noticeably Neil Gaiman. Now, why is the A23 so popular among enthusiasts? Well, let's think of a perfect writing instrument. What kind of characteristics would it possess? It needs good size, with some good weight, well-balanced, durable material, solid build quality, a large ink capacity, and an added bonus that you can see how much ink you have left. A gold nib on top of that, and an effortless writing experience all checked up. No wonder why the A23 is such a sought after writing instrument. And there are so many other things that makes this one a good writer. It has a pretty much everything you need to be a pen that can work with you on a daily basis, while having one of the more advanced system to get the most out of an ink refill. Of course, all the good things being said about it, the A23 might be in a bit of a fickle situation in 2023. As pen manufacturers compete with each other constantly, users might find it hard to stick with a single fountain pen. The large ink capacity in hindsight might be the best thing ever, but for some of us who would like to change out their inks weekly or do not have the needs to write so much that the 2.3 milliliter barrel might be a bit daunting to get through. Now, after reading through this and you still feel the allure of a one pen, one ink lifestyle, the A23 might be a good consideration for your sole pen purchase for many years to come. Now, in my defense, the debate between which is the better one pen collection, I raised the issue of maintenance in making sure your sole rider can perform in the next five, 10 years to come. The concern of replacement parts might come into play more so than you think. Similar to cars, parts of your pens might break down eventually, and you might find yourself in need of a new cap or a new barrel once they develop crack from handling the vacuum rod too roughly. And from my knowledge, Pilot still offers servicing and parts replacements for pens, but at a really steep cost. And not to mention shipping and waiting time, which would be an unforeseeable concern for many found pen users. We do like our pens, but when it's costing an arm and a leg to replace a part, sometimes 
as much as a whole new pen by itself, many users might shun from using their writing tools completely, which would kind of defeat the purpose of a daily writer, right? At its current pricing for about $350 to $450 US dollar, it is no doubt an expensive pen purchase. And for many enthusiasts, the A23 seems like a milestone that one would like to acquire and try out at some point. I would still highly recommend this pen to anyone who would like to get a reliable and and effortless writing experience but I would not be adding it back to the personal stash myself due to my monkey brain liking new and shiny things all the time. What about you guys? I would like to know your experience with the A23 down in the comments below. If you have yet to own one, would you like to hit the milestone or would you like to get another pen? Similar to the A23, we have a lot of options but let me know your thoughts down below. For more found pen related content, please check out writingguy.com for written review, photos and more. And for regular updates and and short videos content please check out the instagram a writing guy or a writing guy shop for your next purchases thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one